grade right now. I enjoy playing basketball, football, and dancing. But you didn't come here to learn about me, right? I mean, came here to learn about My Name, My Story. I'm going to give you a little bit of background on My Name, My Story. It was started in December 2011, and I was introduced to it um, that month. I was in the car coming back from a restaurant with my family, and uh, my brother introduced me to it. To be honest, I never thought this would go anywhere at all. I thought it'd go three months and then just down the drain, disappear. Because it didn't seem like an idea that I would like to do. That was before Yahoo picked us up. Two months into the organization, Yahoo put us on their website. And at that time, my reaction, I mean, Yahoo's a big deal. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, sign me up. Please, like, I want to be involved in this. I want to be on Yahoo. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I remember asking my brother, like, can I be involved? Because I don't have a story myself. I mean, I have a pretty good life. I mean, I like it. But um, I mean, at that point, he was puzzled. He didn't know what to tell me. And uh, that was when my mom came in and she told me that my life is my story. I don't need to change the way I am. I can just be perfect the way I am and share my story and help other people. I, I can be the best basketball player, I can be the best football player, I can be the best soccer player. Whatever it is you have, you can share it with other people. Because you can have an overcoming story and share it on the website, or you can just have a success story. It doesn't matter. Because even a success story will make someone's day. I mean, I like to hear about like someone like Magic Johnson who just had a great life and it was just success all the way. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, I'm not gonna get too much into detail, but yeah, you get the fact. And, um, you know, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and um, to be in this organization, you can't just say you're in MNMS. You can't just do nothing and say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm the founder. What? Huh? And then they ask you a trivia question on what is MNMS, they're like, what? I'm, I'm sorry, I was watching TV. No, you actually need to do stuff to be in this. You need to contribute hours. It doesn't matter, like, a lot of you need to have service hours, right? Yeah. How much is the service hours? All right. 20. 20. 20. No, no, it's not 20. 20. No, it's 20. All right. So who has to finish their service hours? Raise your hand. Wow. It doesn't matter if you already finish your service hours. To be in My Name, My Story, you go beyond your service hours. You don't do this because you want to get service hours, you do it beyond that. And um, I, normally when your brother is like the founder of an organization, you can just hop along and you know, you know act like you're part of it. Nope, not at all. My brother did not want me in it if I didn't do anything. Neither did my parents. So I had to do stuff. And I remember clearly that my dad, me, his friend Harmon, his friend Harmon, I mean, my brother's friend Harmon, and Amit, were all sitting in a room. We were just discussing, this was before the website was made, this was before considered called an organization. We were all sitting down in a room and just gathering thoughts, putting it down. And I thought of a thing called MNMS Scholarship. Some of you may not have heard of it, some of you may. It's basically where we give um, a scholarship to a leader. And I'm not going to go too into detail to that. I don't want to bore you with all the facts, but yeah. And um, I've also done a little few things that you guys may not notice. And uh, that's how I actually got into my name, my story. But what, I hear, what I'm here to tell you about is how to start an MNMS school club in your school. I started one in my school. One of the things that I did, which was actually the biggest thing, was I started a book drive in my school. There was 200 kids around, and I was in the fifth grade a few months ago, and um, that was when uh, Hurricane Sandy struck New Jersey. We all know that, and um, the school there was damaged, and I knew I couldn't just sit there and watch it on CNN and 
have everything be destroyed. I knew I had to do something, obviously. So I decided to start a book drive for the school. And um, I, contacted, I contacted people in New Jersey and I found the school finally. And um, what I did was um, when uh, parents came to pick up their kids, I gave them flyers. I gave them flyers describing the whole book drive and our goal and um, our, just our goal. And then I gave them motivation for a pizza party. I made daily announcements on the PA system. And just finally, it was a coincidence. I swear this happened. I got the pizza party because my class won, which I was very excited about, even though I bought myself pizza. Um, <laughs> I, mean, I didn't buy myself pizza. I wasn't expecting that, but I mean, that was pretty good. Um, and yeah, um, I also did a spirit video for my school. It, How many books did you collect finally? 3,011 books. Wow. 200 wow. kids in my school. I was expecting 8,000 <laughs> because I was expecting every kid to donate at least 20. And I know most of the schools here, um, Chopnod, everyone's in Chopnod and you're in Viewpoint, right? So how many kids do you have in your school? Around 21,000 in your school. Oh, that's way wow. That's 2,100. 2,100. So that's kindergarten through 12. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then Chopnod Middle School is 720 ish. 20. Yeah. I had 200. Imagine the amount of books we can collect from 2100 and 720. If each kid just donates 20 books or 10 books, that can make a huge difference. I don't care where we donate to. Because if we donate to a hospital, those kids will love the books. If we donate it to, um, it could be anything. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it could be anything we can donate to. It could be, um, I mean, we've donated to a bunch of hospitals. It could be a school in New Jersey, wherever it is, as long as it's making a difference in someone's life. It's good. Um, I also... Did I bring up a spirit video? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. Well, spirit <laughs> video. It had nothing to do with MMS. Absolutely nothing. We just said how awesome the school was in a video. And you could say how awesome Sean got it. You could say how awesome Viewpoint is. You could just say how awesome and thankful you are to be in the school that you are in. And if you're not, I, I, which I really hope you like your school, you could just list it there. You could just say it there. You could say all your thoughts in one thing. It's basically a promo video for your school, for all the new kids coming in. And um, we also did active kindness notes, which I'm sure, I believe there's some in Chiang Mai. I think you guys did this. It's basically where you just give letters to your teachers, thanking them, your previous teachers or the teacher that you had, thanking them for what they did and saying how cool they are and um, you helped me in math, you helped me get through uh, Algebra 2 or I don't know if you learned Algebra 2. I don't. I have been really <laughs> easy. I have been really easy. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but the best part of all of this that I've done when you inspire someone else, when inspired action comes into play. It's like that video, everyone saw the video of that one like random guy dancing. Oh, Bryce. <laughs> Bryce? 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 That would be me in the future. Also Bryce. <laughs> um, that was a remake of it. <laughs> and then there's another person coming along. And then there's another. And another. And another. And another. And it just keeps on going until there's a huge crowd all around the world just dancing, dancing randomly, going insane. That is when you know you've made a difference, when you inspire another person to do something for the good. I don't even care if you're dancing. You can dance for cars, you can dance for just anything, especially when you inspire someone. Now in my school, it was preschool to fifth grade. Our middle school cut off because we didn't have enough people. And um, there was a kid in my preschool, he wanted to donate books but he was too young because preschool and the elementary school side, two different campuses. So he was pretty bummed about that and he decided he wanted to start his own book drive because he saw me and my student council doing this. And at that point, he called me. He's like, I want to do a book drive. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> no way! Like, I wanted, I was fake reading books. Like, someone literally took a picture of me, like, fake reading a book. Like, this really big book that says The Magic of Thinking Big. I had no clue what the word said. And he was donating books at that four-year-old age as a preschooler. And, um, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> so I taught him a little, but it was all him. He, um, he ended up um, donating a lot of books, so I'll show you a video right now. clubs in your school? Every single person. How, how many involved in like one? Two? Three? Four? Wow. Oh my gosh. Alright, so you can still be involved in this on your free time either way. And um, it's like everyone in this club cares about everything. Every single little thing that can help a person. Whether someone is bullying someone, whether someone is just playing rough. We care about every single person and every little thing. And um, every single one of you will be the first in your school. Like, all of you will be the founding Chaminade club leaders in your middle school. You, you will be the first viewpoint middle school leader. starts with one person, then it goes to another. It's a domino effect. Down, 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 down. But this one, it goes all across the world. It might not take a year, it might take months, it might take a decade. But all of you will be the starting point of all of this. And um, there's this quote that I really like. It says, be the change that you want to see in the world. And all of you, people think you're the little changes in the world. But all of you are the biggest changes. It starts off a little, but then it goes to the biggest thing in the world. As I said, be the change that you want to see in the world. You don't want to, you don't want to be someone else. Be yourself. Thank you. <laughs> 